This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at the top 10 places to visit in Tokyo. As the capital of Japan, Tokyo is a pulsating metropolis with a unique blend of ancient and modern. From its iconic neon lights and towering skyscrapers to its tranquil temples and gardens, Tokyo has something for everyone. And here are some of the top rated places. Coming in at number 10 is Shinjuku, one of Tokyo's most vibrant districts. The moment you step off the train at Shinjuku Station, you'll find yourself in the heart of the world's busiest transportation hub, as recognized by the Guinness World Records. A great place to get a feel for Shinjuku is the Metropolitan Government Building. It has a gift shop, cafes and two panoramic observation decks at 202 meters high where you can enjoy stunning views and plan where you want to go next. Among the city's skyscrapers is Shinjuku Gyoen, a large park and garden. It's a popular oasis in the heart of Tokyo, offering visitors a chance to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy the beauty of nature. The park is home to a variety of gardens, including a Japanese garden, an English landscape garden, and a French formal garden. There is also a greenhouse and a tea house in the park, and in springtime the park is a popular spot for cherry blossom viewing. For entertainment in Shinjuku, head over to the town that never sleeps, Kabukicho, a vibrant entertainment district. It is known for its neon lights, bars, clubs, restaurants and shops. A smaller area of Kabukicho called Golden Guy, is home to over 200 tiny bars, each with its own unique character, packed tightly together in narrow alleys. Though generally considered a safe place, it does take on a strong adult atmosphere at night. Next at 9 is Akihabara, also known as Akiba, Tokyo's electric town, a major shopping district where you can find any electronic item imaginable. From the latest gadgets and electronics to rare and vintage electronics you thought you'd never see again. And so, not surprisingly, it's also the center of Japanese otaku culture, with countless shops filled with video games, anime and manga related goods, and of course, made cafes. At number 8 is Ryogoku, home of Japan's national sport, sumo. Even if you know nothing of sumo, Watching a match live will be an unforgettable experience. The Ryogoku Sumo Arena is two minutes from the station, and if you're lucky enough to visit during one of the three yearly tournaments in January, May and September, you can enjoy the sheer power of sumo wrestling. And no visit to Sumo Town is complete without trying Chanko Nabe, the wrestler's traditional hearty hot pot, filled with meat dumplings, vegetables, and a flavorful broth. At seven is Shibuya and Harajuku, two of Tokyo's most popular and vibrant districts, each with its own unique charm. Shibuya is known for its cutting-edge fashion, trendy restaurants and cafes, and lively nightlife. It's also home to some of Tokyo's most iconic landmarks, such as the Shibuya Scramble Crossing, where up to 3,000 people cross at a time and the Hachiko statue, a bronze statue of an Akita dog named Hachiko who waited for his owner for more than nine years after his owner had passed away, and it's now become a popular meeting spot. A 15-minute walk away is Harajuku, a youthful and eclectic district in Shibuya, well known as a hub of Japanese youth culture and fashion, with its mix of small, youth oriented independent boutiques and cafes, Harajuku is a shopper's paradise, as well as a gathering place for fans and aficionados of Japanese street fashion. Just a short walk away from the bustling shopping district, you'll find yourself in a tranquil oasis, the Meiji Shrine. This Shinto shrine is dedicated to the spirit of Emperor Meiji and his wife, the Empress Shoken who died in 1912 and 1914. At six is Ueno, best known for its beautiful park, 
which is especially popular during the springtime, when the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. Thousands of visitors flock to the park to admire the blossoms and enjoy picnics under their canopy. The park is also home to Japan's oldest and most famous zoo, which opened in 1882. It has almost 3,000 animals, from polar bears and tigers to rhinos and gorillas. If that wasn't enough, there's also six museums in the park, with museums covering nature and science, Japanese art, history and culture, as well as Western art. Lastly, everyone who visits Ueno must take a walk through Ameyoko Market, an outdoor market with a huge variety of stalls selling clothes, makeup, medicine, and even fresh food at lower prices than most places. Great for souvenirs. In at number five is Tokyo Sky Tree, the third highest freestanding structure in the world today at 634 meters. Built for TV and radio broadcasting, it attracts millions of tourists and proves that even in a country with frequent earthquakes, records can still be set. It has two observation decks, the Tembo deck at 350 meters and the Tembo Galleria at 450 meters. The Tembo deck is a three-level observation deck with 360-degree panoramic views of the city and a glass floor to enjoy views directly beneath your feet. The Tembo Galleria is the highest you can go and begins as a sloping spiral walkway that wraps around the tower, getting higher and higher as it goes, offering even more stunning views as far out as Mount Fuji. Number four is Tokyo Tower, the most iconic symbol of Tokyo. It may have lost the top spot to Tokyo Sky Tree, but it's still the second tallest structure in Japan and has had over 60 years to become the nation's favorite. Built in 1958, it took inspiration from the Eiffel Tower with engineers adding an extra three meters on top to outdo the Eiffel Tower. It also has two observation decks. A ticket for the main deck at 150 meters will cost you 1,200 yen. But if you buy a 3,000 yen ticket, you can continue your elevator ride up to the top deck at 250 meters. Under the tower, there's a huge four-story building called Foot Town, which houses shops and restaurants, and even has a museum, as well as other attractions and events going on year-round. At three is Ginza, Tokyo's most glamorous shopping district. It's home to world-class department stores, some of which date back to 1925, like Ginza Matsuya, a large department store offering world-famous brands, jewelry stores, and much more, is one such department store. Ginza Mitsukushi, a long-established department store that opened in 1930, is another. And Ginza Wako, a traditional Japanese-style department store, known for its Seiko clock tower, which has become a symbol of Ginza, dating back to 1932. If it's Kabuki you want to watch, this is the best place. Kabukiza Theatre, offering live performances almost every day, with English audio guides available for some performances. It's a great place to experience this traditional Japanese art form. Ticket prices range from 4,000 to 20,000 yen. Also, you can take a relaxing stroll through the Hamarikyu Gardens, beautifully landscaped gardens dating back to the Edo period and built for the feudal lords and only opened to the public in 1946. Number two is the Imperial Palace, the main residence of the Emperor of Japan. Located in the heart of the city, just 10 minutes walk from Tokyo Station, the palace grounds are a popular sightseeing spot, offering a glimpse into Japan's rich imperial history and culture. You can walk around the perimeter of the palace grounds, admiring the impressive moat and walls. You'll no doubt see many people jogging around here, as it's the most popular place to get some exercise while enjoying the view. There are gardens and parks to enjoy, which can be divided into three main sections. The East Gardens, 
Kitanomaru Koen Park, and the Kokyo Gaien National Garden. Within the gardens, you'll find the remnants of Edo Castle, the residence of the shogun and the headquarters of the military government during the Edo period. You can visit the Museum of the Imperial Collections in Tokyo's East Gardens for free to see over 9,800 works of art, including Nihonga-style paintings and Japanese ceramics. And to finish off our list of top spots in Tokyo is Asakusa and Sensoji Temple. Sensoji Temple, or Asakusa Kanon as it's also known, is Tokyo's oldest and most popular Buddhist temple, drawing 30 million tourists a year. It's located in the Asakusa district. Known for its traditional atmosphere, you can enjoy rickshaw rides around the area, the Asahi Beer Tower, river cruises, and much more. But it's Sensoji that most people come to see. Founded in the 7th century, it has been attracting people for centuries. Dedicated to Canon, a symbol of compassion, the temple complex includes a number of interesting spots. You will first pass through the Kaminarimon, or Thunder Gate, the iconic outer gate that symbolizes Asakusa. On each side of the gate, in alcoves, is a large statue, one representing the god of wind, and the other the god of thunder and lightning. In the center hangs a giant 700 kilogram lantern, with the gate's name, Kaminarimon, written in black kanji. The gate opens onto the Nakamise Street, a narrow street 250 meters long that leads to the main hall of Sensoji Temple. Lined with about 90 shops selling souvenirs of all kinds and traditional Japanese snacks, the shops themselves have a long history going back to between the late 17th and early 18th centuries. Leaving the shops, you'll come to the main temple hall, where you can pay your respects before moving on to admire a beautiful five-story pagoda, right next to a scenic Japanese garden and pond. I hope you enjoyed our list of some of the best places to visit in Tokyo, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.